It's yours. Jurassic Park. It's your job to make it work. Just build the park. And populate it with dinosaurs. Lots of dinosaurs. This will be the greatest theme park in the history of the world. Hey Amber Miners, welcome back to the channel. Today, for Jurassic Park Operation Genesis's 20th anniversary, we are going to be deep diving into one of the most expansive areas of the game's development. It's cut content. Over JPOG's 20 years, the community has unearthed gold mines worth of information regarding all of the cut and cancelled content planned for the game. From unseen buildings and dinosaur species to entire game plan modes. Let's go. Part 1. Cut Buildings. Many buildings in the original plan for the game were not spared from incredible crunch time and drastic decision making. One example of this is the Veterinary Center. This building was shown off in the earlier trailers and promotional videos for JPOG's marketing run. The build would have required research to unlock and would have cost 5,000 in-game dollars. It was 4x3 squares large and would have come alongside an exclusive variant of helicopter that shared the same model as the Ranger Copter, but with a different color scheme. The most likely purpose for this building was to quarantine and treat sickly dinosaurs before using the cages seen on the left-hand side of the building to bring them back to their paddocks. The medical station was seen only on the Prisma Strategy Guide and was the equivalent of the Dinosaur Vet Center for tourists. It seems to resemble the old concepts for the Jurassic Park Safari Lodge bungalows. The Vehicle Depot is another well-known build. It is unknown if it would have required research, how much it would have cost, but it is well-known that it would have been 5x4 squares in size. It would repair broken and severely damaged vehicles such as the Ranger Jeeps, Tour Cars, and Helicopters as a comparison to the actual game, where you just get a new vehicle instead. It would have been able to house at least 5 vehicles and even come in with an upper floor for staff. Another structure seen in the trailer's promotional material is the hunting platform. This viewing tower would have allowed guests to hunt down carnivores. Yeesh, bad wording. It is very well known, with 10 units being allowed in the park at a time, it requires research to unlock, and would cost 2,000 in-game dollars, sizing up to 2x2 two two squared in size. Smaller cut builds and structures include the Dinosaur Petting Zoo, Hotel Complex, Fence Gates and Diagonal Fencing and Pathways, Concrete Walls, Non-Electric Fences, Amphitheaters, Buildings atop of Mountains, and even the placeable Jurassic Park Gates. Part 2. Cut dinosaurs, dinosaur behaviors, and plants. The JPOG roster was initially much grander, with many species never seen before in the films at this point being introduced into the fray. These included Alliaramus, Patasaurus, Baryonyx, Chasmosaurus, Comsognathus, Dionychus, Diplodocus, Iguanodon, Myasaura, Ornithomimus, Panoplosaurus, Tenontosaurus, Tesclosaurus, Wurhosaurus, no idea how to pronounce that, and Yanktronosaurus. At some point, Triassic and Omnivorous dinosaurs were planned, as both are listed in the game's files. It is most likely that Galamems was intended to be an omnivore at one point in development, but was instead made a herbivore for unknown reasons. Alongside these, aerial and aquatic species were ultimately planned, the entire expansion pack set aside for them. The only two confirmed species we would have had were Tyrannodon Mosasaur, but more could definitely have been possible. Unfortunately, this expansion idea was scrapped in the early concept stages. Sexual dimorphism and breeding amongst dinosaurs were also planned to be implemented, shown with the Velociraptors in the game's announcement trailer. Baby dinosaurs resulting from breeding would have entire ontological sequences, regardless you say that word, growing up over time. Originally, 11 dinosaur diseases have been planned for the game. But sadly, six were cut late for unknown reasons, leading to the small list we have currently. Cut diseases were foot and mouth disease, common cold, stomach worms, arthritis, and skin mites. Along with the dinosaurs, seven cut species of foliage were planned, but ultimately scrapped. These included the monkey puzzle tree, the magnolia, the acacia, the ash tree, the bennet, pine, and possibly Svenna. Part 3. Cut Research Research is a staple of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, and its previous incarnations and plans were even far grander than the one we got on release. One mysterious example of this is the Hatchery Education Tour, a researchable tour. 
Not much is known about it, but it is speculated to be tied to the cut JP Institute building, which we will be covering shortly. Some researchable attractions were also cut, including the rest area vending machines and viewing dome feeders, both of which have viewable models from either file diving or promotional pictures. Other very small and mysterious cut features are the ranger spray, sprinkler system, and even a differing research tree, all of which have very minimal information on Part 4. The Jurassic Park Institute The Jurassic Park Institute would have been a prominent feature in the game. In reality, it was a massive promotional run for Jurassic Park, having its own massive website and traveling exhibit. While appearing in many other JP3 tie-in video games, it was sadly cut for J from JPOG for unknown reasons. It would have been a base of operations building, the very first building that players would place. It would have cost a thousand in-game dollars and been 4x4 squares in size, quite large. However, despite its removal from the game, it was sponsored and promoted in the game's end credits, the picture of a museum. Part 5. Overall Cut Game Features An incredible amount of basics features were removed from JPOG before launch. Many of these included day and night cycles, Nublar and the five deaths, loading screen tips, island difficulties, forest fires, gun variety selection, such as shotguns and pistols, shadows, sand, water ripples, cut missions and achievements, and award achievements. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis is an old but still relevant gem in the eyes of Jurassic fans. Who knows, maybe if these features remained and the game got post-content updates, then maybe it would have gotten even further recognition outside the fandom. From features like dinosaurs and builds to behaviors and weaponry, JPOG had a menagerie of cut content that are still being revealed to this very day, 20 years after its release. Thanks to Luca2951 and his website, The Genesis Archives, for help with the research in this video. Please make sure to follow him on Twitter, as he's also the person that does our dinosaur models. Remember to like this video, to subscribe, and to ring that bell icon to get notified of our new content. If you want to financially support our channel, make sure to sub to our Patreon in the description below. Later, Amber Miners. Ember Miners, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them. Consider leaving a like on this video so we know that you enjoyed it. Leave a comment about content that you would like to see come to this channel, and be sure to check the description for links to our Discord if you would like to talk to the team more directly. Check out our Patreon if you would like to help fund the team and its upcoming projects. Remember, this is a fan group reviewing the depths of our favorite franchise, and that we are in no way affiliated with the groups and companies that own them. Be sure to support Universal Studios and Amblin Entertainment. This has been an Ambermind production. Thank you for mining with us.